I have the privilege to stand here with Phil. Phil was raised in a two-parent household, and he's one of four siblings. He grew up in the church, and he answered the altar call at age seven. But he was fed a form of religion that was work-based and not focused on an outward relationship with Jesus. As a child, Phil was modeled an unhealthy affinity towards women, which led him to drawing his validation from the seeking and experiencing of multiple women throughout his teenage and college career. Yet Phil did find love when he met his wife, Whitney. And three months after they started dating, they were married. But the first two years of their marriage were rough, splintered with verbal abuse and coldness. And it was towards the end of those first two years of marriage, even though the things were rocky in the marriage, that things started looking up for Phil. And he was offered his dream job in the aviation industry, of which he had waited so long to be a part of. It was a job that required him to leave his wife, his newborn daughter, and his eldest daughter to go training out of town for four months. And it was during this time of his training out of town that his unchecked brokenness and his unhealthy affinity towards women spiraled out of control and resulted in him being unfaithful to his wife, his family, and breaking the marriage covenant. After the training was complete, Phil returned home and confessed his sin to his wife, of which she replied they worked through things. And they did, but things were not the same. In the years to come, Phil's career in aviation took off, and he was a success. And he felt like his dreams were coming true. Then COVID hit. And the long work hours and the rotating work schedule took a toll on Phil's health. That coupled with the mounting tension in his marriage and at home was too much for Phil. And he started noticing that everything that he had worked to build and all his dreams were slipping away and he did not have a foundation to stand on. But in 2021, a friend intervened and took Phil to a men's retreat out of town, at which during a session, Phil was invited to unpack the woundings from his past and forced to come face to face with the chains that kept him bound for decades. It was in that moment of facing the unhealthy religious upbringing from his childhood the lustful decisions from his past, and the grace and forgiveness extended to him by his wife to forgive him for his unfaithfulness, that he heard the Lord speak to him, that he was not the sum of his mistakes, and his identity is not in being a lustful man, but in Christ alone. Phil said immediately he felt free for the first time in a loved son of God. And in that moment, he went from death to life in Jesus Christ. Since his encounter with Jesus, Phil's wife reports that he is more gentle and understanding with her, and their marriage is thriving. He's a father of three amazing, beautiful girls. And now they, stay, they feel free to sing around him and to be themselves when dad's around and just be kids. Present day, the Lord has made a way for Phil to step away from the aviation industry completely and pursue ministry full time. He's currently enrolled in ministry in a seminary, and he is the door holder here at Passion City Church at Trillith, and he gives his time to the men at A Better Way Ministries, helping encourage them in their faith. Phil has truly been transformed in the definition of a Christian. And anybody that has ever met Phil knows you can't stand next to him for too long or else you'll get burned because he's truly on fire for Jesus. Phil, because Christ died and rose for you and you have chosen to put your faith in him, it is my joy to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank <laughs> you.